tell me a little bit about your district. What issues do you think people in your district are concerned about? Well, uh, my district is 36A, includes all of Champlin and part of Coon Rapids, um, which is a little bit unique because we have the Mississippi River right going right through the middle of it and two different counties, uh, Hennepin County for Champlin and Anoka County for my part of Coon Rapids. I share Coon Rapids with uh, Representative Jerry Newton. Um, so, um, yeah, a unique district, uh, of course, uh, you know, being mayor in Champlin for as long as I have been, I'm pretty familiar with everything on my side of the river there. But um, Coon Rapids, a uh, little different trying to get to know everybody over there and, and uh, all the issues. Um, I think primarily I heard time and time again that uh, uh, people want their legislators to work together and get things done, uh, avoid gridlock, and... Uh, do what's good for the state, uh, do what's good for the, for the people. And there are obviously a lot of issues that we have to deal with. And, and uh, it's easy to say uh, to work in a bipartisan manner, but it's, it's much more difficult to get it done that way. But I think that's got to be a goal to really try and, and, and do some things better. Tell us about yourself, your occupation, and your home life. Well, I'm retired, <laughs> which um, I have been for a number of years here. Um, I, um, I spent 30 plus years in the uh, coatings, paint and coatings manufacturing. Uh, one of most recently was uh, with Hirschfields, uh, putting in uh, their paint manufacturing division, owning the facility. And um, it was really an ideal marriage because uh, the Hirschfields were very, very good retailers of paint and coatings, a local company that goes back to uh, the late 1800s. But they really didn't know anything about manufacturing, and, and I did. So it um, worked out very well. Um, I've, uh, I've uh, started from scratch, from ground zero, uh, three coatings manufacturing companies uh, in Minnesota here. Uh, but um, sold, uh, sold out and, and uh, had planned to spend a lot of time up north uh, and all that, but, um, um, you know, politics draws you and, and being mayor and, and uh, being concerned, um, this was a, another step. I, I hope, that, uh, hope that I can do some good over here. I have uh, a wonderful wife, uh, Pam very understanding uh, woman uh, and uh, it's just uh, we, have, we have a great relationship and three grown kids um, uh, my son Ben uh, daughter Jenny and Rose uh, and all off the payroll graduated from college all have good jobs which I'm very thankful for if you could offer up the first bill of the legislative session what would that bill be well, um, one thing that's very important to uh, everybody in my district is uh, finishing Highway 610, okay, if you're familiar with that. It's the last uh, freeway segment that is unbuilt uh, in the entire metro area. A couple of years ago, uh, there was uh, a lot of construction work done, and it got within about, I think it's a mile and a half or two miles, to um, Interstate 94. Some people refer to it as a North Town Cross Town. Uh, very, very important arterial hub uh, for um, anybody's commute up there and also for business development. Uh, probably one of the best examples is Target Corporation. Target has moved a major, uh, a major amount of people up on a 610 corridor there at their new North Campus. And right now they're building another, another building. Um, if 610 gets completed, uh, Target will just be one example. There'll be many, many more um, jobs and, and uh, companies relocating uh, in that area. And that's good, that's good for Champlin and uh, it will be good for Coon Rapids too. Who was the first person you told when you decided to run for a house seat and what prompted you to run? I got recruited 
um, because I was mayor, still am for a little while yet. Um, but uh, actually, uh, the incumbent, Denise Dietrich, uh, very good friend of mine, Democrat, I'm a Republican, but I always said I wouldn't run against Denise because she, she really did represent uh, the city of Champlin very well. And funny thing is, we were having coffee at Caribou and I'm getting recruited. Um, an hour later, I saw Denise at a ribbon cutting. Uh, and it was my intention to run one last time for mayor. But uh, so I, I saw Denise at this business ribbon cutting and I said, well, Denise, you're running again, aren't you? And she said, no, I'm not, Mark. <laughs> so um, that's when I decided to run. And, and I think she was probably the first person that knew uh, that way. And, you know, I'm running really because uh, to represent our city and, and the Coon Rapids. Uh, so, uh, you know, our, our interests are taken care of, our constituents are taken care of. And uh, there's, there's, many issues that that concern me. When the end of a session arrives and you return back home to your district, how will you determine if you are a successful legislator? Well, first of all, uh, I think what's really important is uh, that people follow the legislature and, and people are so busy, uh, it's difficult. Uh, but uh, being informed of what goes on, understanding as a minority, how difficult it will be to author bills that will get passed, um, I think is going to be something that, that the electorate has to understand. But in the final analysis, you get elected to represent your constituents. Uh, and things that are important to Coon Rapids and Champlin, um, like transportation issues, public safety issues, and taxes and the environment, I think, um, are very key. So I hope people will judge me on, on uh, what I do in committee. Um, maybe we'll get a bill or two passed. Uh, certainly um, try to have some influence. But in the final analysis, uh, when the votes are taken, in a minority situation, it'll be very difficult, I think, in some respects. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I do have to say I've been very impressed um, with what uh, uh, I've seen so far. The uh, staff around here is very professional. And um, we just concluded our three-day training seminar um, for the house here. It was excellent. Um, I'm very grateful that uh, leadership decided to do that. I guess they've done that the last couple of years, but it was very helpful. And I've met some wonderful people uh, on both sides of the aisle. Uh, and I hope that, um, that we can work together to get the, uh, get the people's work done. <laughs>